Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-October 2022. Uh, we're going to jump right in here, and we are going to do a, um, a past, a present, and in between right here, and a future reading uh, right here. So, uh, Aries, we're going to be using the before tarot for the past position. So that's going to be right here. We're going to be using just the regular old uh, rider weight in this next position uh, right here. And I already shuffled all these decks. Some people have asked about the shuffling. And uh, as I've said to everyone, if you don't believe me, uh, I don't care. Don't watch, right? But um, again, to me, either a reading fits or it doesn't into your life. So it shuffling, not shuffling, doesn't matter. <laughs> And also, I pick cards intuitively, but uh, we're going to do an in-between right here. This is the in-between tarot. The in-between tarot represents in-between two energies, basically. So it represents uh, in-between two cards, and I'll explain that better when we get to that energy in just a minute. Uh, and we're going to use the after tarot for this future position. Uh, if you like this style of reading, definitely let me know. I, like I said to everyone else, I might be... Uh, I'm thinking about doing like a big version of this for the 2023 readings, the yearly readings, basically. So let me know. But uh, for your past position, you have this riches card and this quarrel card. Um, some of you, I do feel, are trying to improve your financial situation. It's kind of interesting because, you know, I feel like for some of you, maybe your finances are fine, right? You know, and maybe they have been. Maybe they've been good. But, you know, it's like, who doesn't want more, right? <laughs> and... Um, you have that nine of pentacles and, you know, kind of part of me feels that that nine of pentacles isn't really necessarily saying that you want more. I feel like it's saying, you know, that you deserve more, you know, it's like, look at this, you end with the empress. So I don't want to jump too far ahead here, but this looks freaking amazing, this future position. And it's like, sometimes I think we do a lot of work and, you know, maybe we see other people, you know, who are doing like the same work, doing better than us or outgrowing us or outpacing us. And, you know, I kind of get that feeling for you here, Aries, where maybe that's what you have seen. You've seen someone else or maybe a group of people in work or in business or in your career kind of outgrowing you. And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> where where are my rewards? And I feel like this is an internal struggle, you know, with this quarrel card, or it has been in the past. Again, this is your past position. It's not your current position. So, you know, I feel like this is something that you've thought about. Uh, again, I don't want to get jump too far ahead, but I freaking love that you start with the Nine of Pentacles and end with the Empress. It's like literally saying that you are becoming the Empress. And again, it doesn't matter what gender you are either. You're just stepping into a very abundant energy. She knows how to create abundance. It's kind of funny as well because I have the whole like, you know, you can teach a man to fit. You can give a man a fish or you can teach a man a fish. I have that popping into my head here. It's almost as if this going, this reading is going like this. I feel it's like a zigzag. And I feel it saying, this is what you've been through <laughs> and you have learned how to fish. But I feel like you've learned how to uh, catch like really big ass fish, not just tiny little fish, right? And a lot of abundance as well. I feel like you've ha been having sleepless nights or you've experienced sleepless nights, mental, um, maybe some kind of like um, mental stress as well. Let's put it that way with the nine of swords. But again, this changes very quickly. So again, I'm not too worried about this. Even in your next row, you have the four swords. So like very quick healing. But even in this middle row, this right here is very positive. So, you know, the way that I read is I take everything into that is here into account. To me, you know, again, most people might be worried about this tower, but if you take everything into account and you look what's around it, it might not be that big of a deal. So I read holistically and, you know, I feel like number one, this tower, every every single person has had the tower, by the way, again. Uh, but number two, could just be a move or something like that. And it could also just be something that shakes you up to get you out of this. <laughs> two of swords, like she's about to sit down where she's always been sitting and she's about to pick up her swords and defend herself. But, you know, I say two of swords, it's like a card of negotiation, trying to find a middle ground and all this other stuff. But you know what the funny thing is? is that you're like the second or third sign where I feel like there is no middle ground. And I feel like the universe kind of is asking us to be all or nothing right now. Like we're either in something or we're out of something. And, you know, that's kind of like the energy that I get for, and I don't think it's true for everything, of course, but, you know, it's like if you're trying to build something like a business, 
or a side hustle, or if you're trying to build your career, um, then I feel like you're either all in or all out. Let's see, let's see what's going on here. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Page of Pentacles. Again, studi this is a card of studiousness. There is like a lot of learning here. Even you have a Three of Swords to the Four of Swords in the in-between tarot. And, so, and I'll show you in a minute, but it's like a guy who's sitting at a desk and it's like he's learning. So I feel like learning how to do things would be very beneficial for you. I also feel like there could be some good news coming in for you here. I feel like you need to take action on the good news. Um, so don't miss out. <laughs> uh, Look at this. You go from Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles to the Three of Swords, Four of Swords. Uh, I kind of get the, and I feel whatever this news is could be extremely abundant with the Empress right here. So again, I kind of get this feeling that there, some of you could be receiving news. I do feel this month, October, you know, could be between now and the end. And it's going to be news that you're going to think about, but you're going to want to take action on it. Even if we go this way, it's like you're sleeping on it, Four of Swords, but look, Five of Wands, Six of Wands. I feel like there could be some news or information that comes in that you're conflicted about. I would just move towards it, whatever it is. Like someone says, hey, come work for my business or quit your job and come work for me or something like that. It, you could like be hesitating, but I would do it. Uh, with the nine of swords here, you have uh, two cards, the world and the six of pentacles. Things are balancing out for you. Even in this row um, with that nine of swords, you have the wheel of fortune to the justice card, the in-between energy. So it's like karma is balancing out. Literally, the wheel of fortune is about like things starting to move forward in your life in this situation, I feel. And then justice is about kind of justice, karma. And so I feel that some of you could be closing out a karmic cycle as well. With the two of swords, you have the knight of pentacles. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I feel like it's time to get moving. It's not time to sit still. I literally, I triggered like, um, I don't know, like 900,000 people with a short that I posted the other day about saying like, um, get it's time to get moving forward right and like how dare i suggest that people become successful in life right how dare, dare i suggest that people start moving towards their goals wishes and dreams right how dare i so you know there you go but uh i'm gonna say it again so i would get moving look at this knight of pentacles knight of pentacles five wands six wands you're going to be successful the only thing that's stopping you maybe is the thoughts from other people again that six of wands normally in a traditional six of wands there's like a woman in the background and she's kind of looking at the guy on the horse. She kind of looks skeptical. She's meant to actually look jealous. She's jealous of his success. And the six of wands says, shut those people out, right? And move towards success. Move towards the things that you want in life and um, ignore the haters or the trolls or the people, or, you know, it could even be family members. And again, I'm not saying you have to cut these people out. Sometimes I think family members tell us not to do something, not because they're jealous, but Maybe they're trying to protect us from something that they think they need to protect us from. But again, you know better. I feel like you need to get moving here. Uh, next, you have the friendship card and this convention card. So I do feel for some of you that there could be help coming in from people who matter to you or friends. I, for some of you, I feel like this is maybe someone you watch, <laughs> like online. It might not be a friend, but it might be like a person you consider a friend, like that from TV or something like that, someone you take advice from. The convention card keeps coming up. And again, I think actually that kind of like convention is the enemy of progress right now. I feel like doing things the way they've always been done uh, could slow us down a little bit. You know, of course, do things that work, right? There are certain techniques in business and love and everything in life that just always work. Do those things, but also don't be afraid to try new things is kind of what I'm getting here. You have the four swords, the uh, knight of pentacles and the tower. Again, I, this is why I encourage people to kind of like get moving. And this is why I triggered so many people the other day. Uh, it's because like, I really feel the universe is like saying, you need to like get your ass moving. <laughs> like you, you can't wait until the cows come home to get moving. I, again, personally, I don't see the tower as a bad thing. It can be a card of ignoring reality and it can represent kind of being brought back down to reality, but it can also represent a shakeup. Um, again, you're watching tarot, not because it's like a prison sentence. I always say tarot is in a prison sentence. You're watching this so you can find out about things like this and avoid them, right? And so the tower can be a shakeup. I feel like your shakeup is this right here. It's like you have the knowledge and wisdom that necessary to be very successful at something. Again, this diagonal, is going up to the six of wands, like guaranteed success. But everything also, by the way, the six of wands, the guy that is traditionally on the six of wands, he has all the knowledge and wisdom he needs to be successful. He knows everything. <laughs> he has, um, you know, he's been to war and now he's coming back from war. This guy right here, he has oak leaves on his helmet. Oak leaves in the tarot represent knowledge and wisdom. So it's like you're prepared to take some sort of leap of faith. 
You have the four swords. Don't sleep on it is what I'm getting here. I feel like you're, you know, much more prepared than you realize. And again, um, you know, the reason I did that post the other day is because, again, after that full moon that we had in Aries, I really feel that full moon in Aries was kind of like a fool, the fool card. I feel like it was like you're more you're prepared. You're ready to go on this adventure. You need, need to take some sort of leap of faith. And uh, let's see. With the uh, four swords, you have the hermit. Again, <laughs> another card of like knowledge, wisdom. You've been through the dark night of the soul. You know everything you need to know about a situation. Some of you, I'm wondering if you're leaving a person here as well. That That's only gonna be for a few of you. And again, you would already be thinking about it. So if you're not thinking about it, that message is not for you. But for some of you, I feel like this is saying, you know, you kind of already have knowledge, wisdom. Again, his feet are frozen at the top of that mountain. He could easily put down that lantern to his feet and he could set himself free. So it's kind of like a card of needing to use your knowledge and wisdom, needing, which this whole entire reading is about. With the um, Knight of Pentacles, you cannot make this stuff up. Page of Wands, needing to move. <laughs> Page of Wands is very enthusiastic about something. For some of you, I feel like you won't be able to help yourself. So, you know, you end with the King of Wands as well. So it's like you're very enthusiastic about something or there could be something new and exciting that you are becoming aware of. I kind of feel like it's in work or bit, you know, it's either in work or business is what I feel here. With the tower, you have the Hierophant. You know, I think that this is kind of like Neptune and Pisces, the tower and the Hierophant, because Neptune and Pisces is a direct challenge to traditional beliefs. But, you know, a traditional belief could be anything. And I would just say, like, are there beliefs that you're resisting, you know? Or maybe you were raised that, um, you know, that money is evil and you're having to, like, overcome some, uh, you know, financial beliefs or something like that here. Um, you could also be seeing, you know, you could be seeing a lot of evidence that makes it difficult to uh, believe something that you used to believe as well, which, I, you know, again, I think that's a sign of the times. I think that's astrological. A lot of people are going to be experiencing that, right? And the, I feel that this justice card is encouraging you to take a neutral, like, approach to something. For some of you, it's not like this is saying that you're accepting something that you don't want to accept, but for some of you, I'm wondering if it's a breakup, like you're going through a breakup and you're kind of like, maybe you thought you were going to marry this person or be with this person forever. It's almost like there's a challenge to like what you have always believed. That's kind of what I'm getting with that tower card. But I don't know, you're entering into like a very strong position. King of Wands, Ace of Cups, Empress. Clearly there's like good stuff coming in for you. Uh, you have this organization card and this discrimination card. Again, this discrimination card is about being discriminating. It's not like being racist or anything like that. Someone always takes it there. It's about like looking at things and really kind of looking at the evidence and saying, okay, I want this in my life. I don't want this in my life. So you're just, it's more about like experiences and situations and toxic people. It's about looking at those things and saying like, okay, these things make sense and these other things don't. I, I think being organized, would be very beneficial for you. I also feel like coming up with like what I call quick plans would be a good idea as well because you have the six of pentacles here. So like, let's say you want to start a business or, you know, I would like, and you're like, okay, my first step is going to be build a website. It's like build a website, right? And maybe come up with like three quick steps. Be like, okay, I'm going to get a domain. I'm going to build the website. I'm going to do this, right? And kind of like break it up. I feel like being organized like that will be very, very helpful for you. You have the five wands to the six of wands the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card, and then the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords. So I feel there's a lot of success coming in for you with this energy. You've definitely, like, I feel like you've proven yourself here, Aries, which is really good. And part part of me feels that's why you're receiving the Empress card is because you're kind of, you know, having a glow up. I don't know if I would call it a glow up or more of an achievement, but I feel like you've earned the right to, you know, <laughs> step into the empress energy, the abundant energy. You've gone through some difficulties and challenges, and now you're able to create abundance. And again, it's because of the things that you've been through. Uh, with the wheel, you have the wheel of fortune uh, to the justice card. Again, these are the in-between uh, tarot, so they represent the in-between energies. And I do feel like some of you are getting karma, or you're seeing karma balance out. Uh, this could be with past people, but I, I, I feel like it's like a lot of stuff. I feel like there is a major correction uh, coming for you in your energy. And again, it makes sense. You have Jupiter entering into your sign uh, at the end of the year. So I feel there's like a major karmic correction. Uh, you also have the three of swords to the four of swords. And, you know, I feel for some of you, you're kind of like forgiving something. For some of you, you could be receiving some uh, like communication from a person who's asking for forgiveness. That is definitely popping into my head. Like this guy looks like he's writing a letter. 
So I'm wondering if someone's either, someone could literally be writing you a letter asking for forgiveness or, you know, you could be forgiving a person. I don't know, or they could be forgiving you. I don't take it how it resonates. Uh, if you're looking for love, by the way, definitely wouldn't really call this a love reading, but I do feel like there's love here if you want it. Again, you have the seduction card at the end. And I do, and you also have the Page of Pentacles. You could, Knight of Pentacles could be an earth sign, but it seems like a little cautious to me is what I would say. This person's being cautious. We might, it might show up. With the um, Five of Wands to the Six of Wands, you have a lot of double cards coming up. You have the Ace of Swords to the Six of Swords. So uh, two sixes, love. Two sixes to me says that you're on the right path and you're going in the right direction to get the things that you want in life. So I feel like there's a lot of success for you. It's 10-10, by the way, here, Aries. So there you go. But uh, I also feel like there's some major victories coming in for you. Again, like I said a minute ago, you've clearly earned your place at the Six of Wands, uh, probably because of some like difficulties and challenges that you've overcome. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card, you have the Ten of Swords. And I actually kind of like this Ten of Swords be in this situation because you go from the Tower to the Ten of Swords. Like a situation is dead done over with, but he's making a symbol right here with his hands. That symbol represents a blessing or receiving a blessing. So I feel like there are some blessings coming in for you. For some of you, I'm wondering if there is like a little bit of a difficult ending. Um, like I said, with the tower and the hierophant, it kind of is saying to me that there could be a situation that, and I feel like this has already happened. So if it hasn't happened for you, I don't think this message is for you, but I feel like some of you have gone through an ending where it's like you didn't want it to end or you don't want to believe it, but I feel like slowly but surely you're accepting it. And it's like, once you set yourself free, Empress, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. <laughs> so like a bunch of blessings, good stuff. With the Three of Swords to the Four of Swords, you have the Justice card. I See, I really feel there's a major correction coming in for you here is the way that I feel this reading as well. It's like the universe has seen what you've been through, I feel, with that Six of Wands, just like putting everything together. And so you're getting a major, you know, there's like a karmic rebalancing or karmic correction. Uh, next, you have this Isolation card and the Seduction card. I kind of feel for some of you, there could be love coming in in the future. Uh, this is your future position, this last row. And it, you know, maybe you've been isolating yourself, but look at how this lady is like pulling on this man. <laughs> I feel like someone maybe tugs at your heartstrings or maybe someone is, uh, you know, kind of too good looking, too seductive. And so maybe they pull you out of your kind of like sadness. So definitely could be love like that. This card is Jupiter and Pisces, which is crazy. This card's come up a lot for a lot of people. And I kind of feel like it's a timing thing. We have Jupiter retrograding back towards Pisces right now. At the end of the month, it will be back into Pisces. Then it's going to start moving forward at the end of November. So it's going to be in, in Pisces till the end of December before it moves into your sign. And, um, you know, again, I feel like if you're looking for love, it could be between now and the end of the year, basically, that love enters into your life. You have the King of Wands, Ace of Cups, and the Empress. Again, definitely could be a love offer coming in for you. I don't really feel love is a major focus here, but it is showing up in the reading. So like I said, it's available if you want it. I kind of feel like this is you feeling very happy. For some of you, I'm wondering if you kind of feel like you dodged a bullet uh, for some of you, <laughs> especially if something has come to an end. I feel that you're kind of like, wow, okay, finally, um, I see that I kind of dodged a bullet here and I'm able to take care of myself now. Uh, the Empress, again, this is what I feel like you have earned is the ability to create abundance. It's almost as if this reading, like I said, is like a zigzag is how I see it. And it's almost like this is the experience that you have been through, the journey that you've been on has taught you how to create a lot of abundance. And because of that, I feel like you're creating a lot of abundance. It's pretty simple. Uh, you have the King of Wands here as well. Definitely a good time to be bold, to be assertive, to really go for the things that you want. Like I said, I, you know, uh, like I said about that post, you know, I really, I don't think we're running out of time, but I feel like we need to get moving. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, I feel like we need to move on the projects, businesses, the ideas that we have, and we need to like start bringing them into reality. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords. You are not stuck. Uh, you know, again, I feel like there could just be, I don't really feel this is that big of a deal, Aries. I feel this happens to all of us. Like there are moments where maybe we're trying to build a business or trying to work on a relationship and maybe we just get like a little bit stuck on like how to move forward. I kind of feel like your solution is that Page of Pentacles at, um, over here. So I kind of feel this is your solution right here, Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles says, if you are stuck here <laughs> in any area of your life coming up in the near future, then you should just learn about what you are stuck on. I know it sounds simple, but uh, you know, trust me, as someone who, who sometimes doesn't do it, uh, I totally understand how you can get stuck and not learn how to get out of it. I feel like you can learn how to get out of anything with that energy. 
With the Ace of Cups, you have the Five of Wands. I, I feel like you're just a little bit conflicted. Maybe you're just not exactly ready for love. So again, if you're meeting a person, maybe you need to say that. Or maybe you're just not ready for love. Plain and simple, that's fine. And the Ace of Cups could represent taking care of yourself. You know, it's your it's your own cup overflowing. So maybe you need to find some things that cause your cup to overflow. Funny enough, Five of Wands is my card of hobbies as well. These people are training. They're not really fighting. They're using sticks to fight. So they're not really fighting. They're learning how to fight. And I feel for some of you, like maybe some hobbies or some things that make you happy would be a good idea. With the Empress, you have the start. Love it. Healing energy. So I definitely feel like you could be healing or going through healing. I feel like there's a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. A lot of wishes and just like good energy. I love this, Aries. For some of you, I feel like there could be a lot of attention coming in for you as well. So love it. Uh, we're going to pull three cards now. We're going to, uh, this is going to be for one question. So feel free to pause the reading if you need time to think of your questions. But we're going to do one, two, three. It's going to be for one question. Sorry, not questions, but just one question. I'm going to answer it as if I know what your question is. Pause the video now because I'm about to read the cards. Pause it now. You have the justice card, the six of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Your hard work is paying off is what this is saying to me. I mean, you have the justice card twice, three times now with this. So I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you and your hard work is paying off. If you're asking, should you work on something? I would say, you know, if you're like, should I start this project? Or should if your question was, should I start this project? Should I start this business? Hell yes. There's going to be a lot of success. If you're asking about a relationship, hell yes. What you put in, whatever you're asking about, what you put in is exactly what you're going to get out of the situation. So if you want something to be successful, then, you know, I feel what you put in is what you're going to get out. I feel like whatever you're asking about is going to require a little bit of bravery. And again, I feel like this whole entire reading requires a little bit of bravery with that six of wands. Like I said, that guy's been to war. It's like what he's been through hasn't been easy, which we already see in your reading is that what you have been through hasn't been easy, but now you're being rewarded. So love it. <laughs> there, there you go, Aries. Uh, thank you for being here, Aries. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your month.